Welcome back to Dave's Garage. Today we're going to be making just a uh, very simple install of a GV tank bag onto the uh, Versys X300. And we're going to start this video in my uh, top secret underground basement junk corner. And the tank adapter we need, uh, I bought this off of Amazon. And the one you need for the Versys X300 is a B as in Baker, F as in Frank, 2.9. The bag I've chosen is a 5 liter, just a small tank bag. And it's called a MT505. And a lot of this is in a, a, written in Italian, so you, you know it's the real deal, I guess. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get all this up to the bike and we'll get started on it. The uh, Versys X300 is up here in the uh, above ground um, high-tech lab also known as my motorcycle corner in the, in the garage and my worst fear is that we're going to lose one of these uh, four millimeter um, bolts into the gas tank so I preemptively stuffed a couple of the um, just these blue shop towels rolled them kind of all up in a little ball and man they fit in there real good the worst would be to, to lose anything into the tank so these are just an m4 uh, bolt and it looks like it takes three bolts off then we're going to put the uh, adapter ring from our packaging here that goes on to the uh, onto the tank so I'll be right back with you as soon as we get those four bolts loosened up and have this sitting on there just to make sure that we're all good. As a intermediate step, I've got the uh, BF29 and you have to take the filler unit off of the original uh, tank and off the original ring. This is the original plastic ring. This takes its place. So you fashion this on with the two little Phillips, actually they're going to be, uh, I think, JIS, Japanese uh, screwdriver. It looks like a Phillips, but it's not. You can't use Phillips, you got to use JIS. And you, you attach the filler cap to this new ring now, the new GV, GV, GV ring. And we just got a couple more little things here to um, get going. There's a little rubber grommet here that goes underneath and then that just holds on to this little plug a little little protrusion for like a soft close a couple little details with this but um took me just a moment to figure this out on how to get this um, aluminum hinged gas tank cover over to the plat the new plastic gv adapter but we're almost there adapter ring now is on, is on there and I've just closed the gas cap. So far things are looking good. This is a fairly simple install. Um, the metal on the tank seems to be a little soft and one of the screws here you know was kind of kind of trying to cross thread which is not good. So take your time on these. There's four of them in here. Take your time on those four screws and you'll be fine. So we just got to close her up with the key and uh, gives it a different look. You know, instead of the silver ring, you've got all black and it's a bit of a flange. But uh, the next thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and put the tank bag on see how that looks. So we have the uh, new tank ring on. The GV MT505 bag is... Uh, one of the smallest ones they have that they do make a three liter, which is even smaller. But I, I chose to go with a five. I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't go any larger. This just snap clicks on. It's really pretty, pretty quick and easy. This bag has a little pouch on each side, small items, another one on the other side. You undo this little plastic uh, clip here and it can, it'll expand out a little bit. To give you your five liters it has a nice metal pull tabs 
open up the main compartment. It has a neoprene uh, pouch here for your like cell phone. It has another pocket, zippered pocket in the lid for other smaller items. Comes with a couple of accessories. And here there's a uh, shoulder strap, some clips on that so you can carry this bag like a little shoulder bag. Has a rain cover in here. And then of course this is your main pouch. There's, there's not a lot of room on the, uh, on the uh, Versys X300. Go ahead and just zipper this back up. Kind of fun to do all this one-handed. There's not a whole lot of room here in, in the uh, in the upper cockpit and tank area. This does make contact with the handlebars at full lock. Just just barely you know touches it here on both sides. Same one on this side. I'll come down and just barely touch it. They make tank bags. I think as large as 15. 15 or, or 20 liters. There's no way any of these large bags are, are going to fit on here. I would say the limit is this, um, you know, in, in the five liter range. GV does make a three liter bag, tank bag, so they're, they're pretty, probably the, I'll either go with three or definitely not more than, than this five. I think they have a couple different five liter versions. But this, you know, does barely touch the, um, Touch the handlebars, which tells me you might have to loosen these, uh, the brace up here, your your, your clamps, and, and rotate the handlebars forward slightly. But I, I'm not going to do that. This is factory set. I'm I'm used to the, you know, handlebars where they're at and the configuration of everything. So I'm I'm just going to leave it like this. And you know, to take these back off, there's just a little, little release. Uh, clip or whatever little little plastic thing that sticks out here you just pull on that and it just comes off this is pretty nice um, it's, it's a quality bag these you know GV makes some some really good stuff and it's got a little port on it also if you wanted to run power in for you know it's charging cell phones and the like so anyways that's the um, that's about this the simplest uh, updating I've done on my my verses in a while, as you've been following my channel, I mean, some of these projects get into a lot of hours. But this one here was pretty straightforward, a few minutes. So that's it um, for the next install here on the, on the Versys X300. We'll see you on the next one.